Tonight, nearly a dozen people now facing misdemeanor charges in El Cajon after handing out food to the homeless today. Hi, and thanks for joining us. I'm Omari Fleming. And I'm Bridget Naso. During the height of the hepatitis A outbreak in October, the El Cajon City Council passed an ordinance to keep groups of people from feeding homeless people. Months later, volunteers continue to fight back, and today they were met by police. NBC7's Mackenzie Maynard is live at Wells Park in El Cajon with the warning that police are giving them. Mackenzie? Yes, Amari and Bridget, it's actually this sign right here that starts it all off that reminds people coming to Wells Park about the ordinance. And today, for the dozens who showed up, they ignored it. We have plenty of bananas, oranges, and apples. Tables full of food. How many? Two. Toiletries, clothes, and shoes all lined up for the homeless community. Feminine hygiene supplies, toilet paper, bottled water, um, you have the fruit, snacks, um, there's some dog food. People at Wells Park Saturday determined to pass out all of these items. Yeah, I was passing out food and this guy was like, can you step aside, please? Regardless of the repercussions. I'll call municipal code 1.28.010 for failure to comply with the municipal code. If you were seen passing out food, you got one of these. They have been given a court date um, under the impression that um, this represents the same as being arrested on a misdemeanor, but it's just a citation. The city tells us nine citations were given out today. It is um, considered a misdemeanor arrest, so I will have to go to court and it's considered arrest. We talked with council members back in November when these signs were first put up. What we're saying is Feeding them at, at city parks is a bad idea, given the situation that we're in with the hepatitis outbreak and the fact that it makes the place completely messy after. Council members still encouraging people to help the homeless just in different ways. You can go out there, pick them up, take them back to your house and, and feed them and board them and room them and have them take a shower if you're really wanting to help. And this is another reason the city says the ban is in place. All of the trash left in this area of Wells Park, you can just see what's left over. And they say for the month, they had 10 feedings for the homeless and obviously lots of trash left over, which caused the city to be spending thousands of dollars to clean it all up. But for the people who were here today who organized this feeding, they say they'll be back out here January 27th, reporting live, Mackenzie Maynard, NBC7.